Well, welcome to ESMO 2016. It's a pleasure to be here. Lots of exciting data at this meeting. My name is Monty Pallon. I'm a medical oncologist from the City of Hope Comprehensive Cancer Center in Los Angeles, California. And we're really honored to have here today Dr. Mirji from University Hospital Center in Tunisia. She is a world-renowned breast cancer expert, and we're thrilled to have her here today to comment on some of her own findings uh, related to patterns of metastasis. So before we jump into your data, Dr. Mirji, I wanted to ask you, what are some of the typical patterns of relapse for patients with breast cancer? Um, early breast cancer uh, in Tunisia is the most common presentation. Around 80% of patients are diagnosed with early breast cancer, such other parts in the world. And after adjuvant therapy, curative treatment, we observe around 23% of relapses. Uh, this number improved. When we see in the last decade, when we see the series from the 90s, it was like 35%. And this is, of course, due to the improvement of management of breast cancer all over the world and also in Tunisia. So it's 23% mainly HR positive disease and visceral metastases. Got it, got it. And you here are presenting some very interesting work, I think, that pertains to some of the differences that we might see in patterns of relapse in Tunisia versus the rest of the world. Now, give me a sense of what your data shows. Um, incidence of breast cancer in Tunisia is increasing, and we have around 25 to 300 case, new cases per year. Um, what is particular in Tunisian patients is, first of all, age. Median age of diagnosis is around 50 years old, which is 10 years younger than what we see in Europe and in the US. Also, uh, median tumor size diagnosis is pretty high. Locally advanced disease frequently observed. Median tumor size is 4 centimeters. Uh, we need to work on that to improve outcome of our patients. Also, uh, we have a particularly higher inflammatory breast cancer cases. It's the most aggressive presentation of breast cancer. We have an incidence of 5%, 5 to 7%, and when we look to Europe or US, it's 1 to 2%. But uh, according to, regarding pathology uh, proportions, HR positive disease, triple negative, HER2 positive disease, I don't think that there are differences between us and uh, Western countries. Uh, BRCA mutations, we don't really have an idea. We don't know the prevalence, we don't know the spectrum of mutations. But we have a, 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 um, a work or in our hospital and other institutions to collect blood and samples from patients in order to focus on this BRCA mutation spectrum. And I think that maybe in the few years we will have but a real uh, accurate results. That's really interesting. And yeah. I wanted to shift gears for a second. We talked about some of the patterns of disease, mm -hmm. but one question that we always have is what is the level of access to various treatments? In the US and the Europe, I think we're quite familiar with which drugs are available and which aren't. But in Tunisia, how do you feel your level of access is to various novel therapies for breast cancer? Uh, when we look to the early breast cancer population, I think that we're doing pretty good. Okay. I mean, we have uh, oncology expertise, we have uh, access to several uh, diagnostic and imaging procedures. Most of the drugs are available, uh, radiation therapy, uh, it's available, and I think that we are following in more than 90% of the cases international guidelines. But when we look to metastatic breast cancer cases, patients, uh, the situation is different. There is a big challenge in providing drugs. It's, we receive all the drugs uh, that come in the market in this ESMO meeting, I don't think that our healthcare system can go along with that. We have, as a low-income countries, low-income countries, limited resources and several uh, economical issues. Uh, we are trying to negotiate with the health insurance system. The Tunisian Society of Medical Oncology elaborated guidelines, local guidelines, and we can fin convince the authorities to consider those guidelines in dis uh, discussing, uh, negotiating reimbursement of new drugs. This is a step, but there are a lot of steps to do, and access to several targeted therapies in the metastatic setting is not really established in my country, in Tunisia. So still some areas we could potentially yeah. work on. But big areas, big challenges. Absolutely. It sounds yeah. like you're making some amazing progress. Thank you so much for spending some time thank with you. us. Thank you. Thank you. It was a Very pleasure for me. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too.